So we're here at the, the Qualcomm booth here at the Arm Tech Con. So you won the best of show. Yes. What did the Qualcomm win the best of show for which part? Well, this is for the uh, Dragon Board development kit. So here's... And, and that's a development kit to support the Qualcomm uh, APQ8068, a Snapdragon. And uh, it's a full-feature development platform. So how many developers are using uh, this solution right now? Oh, well, it just started shipping in the last couple of weeks, so... Um, only a couple of weeks? It's only been out a couple so of weeks. So that's the core? Uh, this is dual core. Dual core. And it's been out a couple of weeks, and we've shipped out uh, well over 100 development kits uh, just in the past couple of weeks. So, uh, what can developers do with it? Uh, well, they can develop applications and, uh, you know, test different uh, peripherals and things and also use it for prototype uh, development if they're going to develop an embedded product. It's a starting point for embedded product development. And the way it's designed, it's got a modular approach. So there's actually a system on module here uh, that would uh, pop out if you wanted to go right into production with a system on module. Just uh, build a carrier board around it with... I.O. specific to your requirements, and it's a fast path to get a product out to market. So, how much does it cost, and what do you get in the package? Do you get all this? Yes, you get everything uh, that you need here. It's uh, $498, uh, and it's a very uh, complete uh, development platform. So, you get uh, you know the main board and the system on module uh, component, which uh, has the application processor on it. Uh, sensor board for uh, camera, and then the display that also comes with it. Uh, but you also have an HDMI output, which you can see. They either use the uh, display here or use an HDMI uh, output. So it's got Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth, and you know, really full of, fully fully uh, function uh, uh, sensors, uh, accelerometer, gyroscope. You know, all those basically anything you need to uh, build a embedded uh, a product or intelligence system. So this is the 8060A, um, but there's also a quad-core processor that yes. you haven't announced yes. uh, so support on that? Or? There's a APQ8064, which is the quad-core uh, version of, of the mm -hmm. Snapdragon processor, and that is not uh, in a development package yet. So I uh, expect Qualcomm to have uh, something out uh, in the near future regarding that. Uh, are you with Qualcomm? Or I'm actually with Intrinsic. I'm the CEO of Intrinsic. So what does Intrinsic do? So Intrinsic uh, designed and developed and supports the uh, Dragon Board. So uh, customers uh, need, uh, buy the development kit from us on our website, and if they need support, uh, we're there to support them and, and provide them help. And then we also have uh, the ability to build derivative products. So uh, again, they could take our system on module and go right into production with that. Or if they want custom development, anything they want to do and build an embedded product using that application processor, Intrinsic can help them build that, any type of custom development. Do you have a, a community forums and stuff for yes. developers? There is a community forum. Uh, it's called uh, mydragonboard.org. And there's uh, all the questions that come in uh, either to Intrinsic or directly into the forum. Uh, we provide uh, uh, support uh, to the community. They can also get information on the development board or third-party tools or accessories or peripherals that uh, would be complementary to the Dragon Board. And if there comes a, a quad core, you could maybe just swap that part in? Uh, well, there'll be a there'll be a new platform uh, in development, yeah, yeah. and uh, if you go to the uh, mydragonboard.org, uh, there's also older versions of uh, previous versions of development kits on there, uh, supporting uh, some of the earlier versions of the uh, Snapdragon processor, and then the dual core, and then future products. All that information will be on there. So. Was was it always called Dragon Board, or is that a new name? Uh, well, I think it's always been called uh, Dragon Board. Uh, there was an 8060 uh, version uh, Dragon Board uh, uh, previously released, and then this is the next generation.